so after many years of actually dreaming about this, I am technically a professor now, so I can go between whichever I'd like of Dr. Kelman and Professor Kelman, which is nice, <laughs> and it's kind of this interesting thing, which is based on the actually pretty arbitrary nature of prestige, where uh, I'm now a professor at a community college, which is something I'm really happy with, because I actually really enjoy teaching, and teaching undergraduate classes is a lot of fun. And technically, at a community college, doctor is a higher title than professor, because you don't need a PhD to teach there. But at a research university, there's lots of postdocs that have PhDs, but who are not professors. And so when I was a postdoc, I was a doctor, and that was, while well, I was at a national lab, but still that felt like a less prestigious title than professor. And now I am technically have the title professor, but it's more prestigious to say doctor. And so I think on the website, when I'm listed as faculty, it now says doctor instead of professor. But I'm very proud to be able to uh, say that I am now a professor. And of course, it's very different being a teaching professor than a research professor. Your focus is entirely on teaching, and in fact, uh, I'm very happy with that. I, at one point, would have liked to be a research professor because I enjoy research and teaching, but actually, if I have to choose just one or the other, because it's very, very difficult to get a professorship, and I have a hard time maintaining sort of high stress level work output under those circumstances, but if I had to choose just one of teaching or research, I've realized that I actually would choose teaching. And hopefully I'll still be able to do some research or make some research contributions in the future, but I'm actually really happy just knowing that I'm conveying the knowledge that I've acquired to sort of people that are coming in. I guess I can't quite call it the next generation because the students I'm teaching are, you know, maybe 15 years my junior, but they're not quite, they're sort of, you know, half a generation offset, but, you know, still conveying that knowledge to people that are coming up and learning physics and engineering and chemistry so that they can participate in the grand project of helping humanity live in a better future. And I still have a lot of pessimism weighing me down about the future of human society and science and technology's role in it, but I still think that having more people have a better understanding of science and technology will only make things better. I really don't want to get bogged down in trying to form the students to my sort of personal disposition or anything, but I want to help them understand the scientific method as well as to understand the technical details of physics that they need to be successful scientists and engineers and, in a couple cases, mathematicians, I guess. I don't know. I, I am actually happy about something for once. It feels very, very strange. It even works out nicely where I'm, I am adjunct, which is a little bit of a tenuous situation, but I actually am able to, you know, to start with a part-time load and uh, it's actually more than I thought I was going to have, but it's actually just about the right amount. I'm about two-thirds time right now, so it's not overwhelming, but I feel like I really have something to do. Uh, it's kind of perfect. I know I haven't been doing these uh, sort of vloggy slice-of-life videos in a long time. I kind of let them fall by the wayside because, well, I thought people didn't want to watch them had somebody on Discord specifically asking about it, so apparently people do. Uh, I don't know. I still have a lot of things I want to do. I'm still planning to do more complicated technical projects. I'm going to keep working on them, but I don't know. I kind of miss just doing these. But yeah. I remember it was like a couple of years ago I even made a video saying like, you know, about educational YouTube, about how, like, you know, why am I getting so obsessed with, you know, doing science communication on YouTube when there's already literally a job that's full-time science communication in a, you know, much more one-on-one -on -one fashion 
which is being a professor, and I am a physicist, so being a physics professor is actually really important. And, well, now I'm doing that, and there's certain things that are better conveyed on YouTube, certain sort of little niche topics, and also making YouTube videos is fun, and watching YouTube videos is fun, so I'm not going to stop doing it, but I don't know. I feel like I might finally, uh, you know, knock on wood, be able to uh, have some uh, balance and harmony and uh, happiness in my life, but uh, we'll see. So, uh, yeah. Good luck, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.